up YouTube. This is Candy from DIY Packaging Style by Candy. Um, I'm back here with another video to show you how to make a customized box from scratch. This video is going to be super quick because as I mentioned in the previous video, this room has zero AC and it's about 90 degrees outside, so it's probably like 100 degrees in this room that I'm filming in. So, but I really just want to get this video done. And, and, this is my second time filming because the last video cut out without my knowledge. I wasn't paying attention to the record signal on the little camera there so it cut out on me and I was just like fuck because I was cut out shit didn't make sense so I was like yeah let me just do it over whatever practice makes perfect right let's get it all right this is the my keys are just like everywhere all right let me just throw them on the floor all right I'm gonna be sweating through this whole video for sure <laughs> for fucking sure all right I'm going to show you how to make a customized box from scratch. I am using a box I picked up from Let Go. Um, when I'm packaging products or when I'm shipping products, I like to be resourceful with my packaging materials. So I always use reuse materials or use recycled materials or pick up free materials from uh, using Let Go, OfferUp. Craigslist, Nextdoor, you know, all those type of sites. So I got this uh, moving box from somebody on Let Go. It's pretty huge. All right, so you just need a piece of cardboard, large piece of card, large piece of cardboard, board, preferably. You are going to need, yeah, you're going to need some tape. You're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a glue gun, glue gun. You are going to need a pair of scissors, a pair of scissors. You're going to need a rotary cutter rotary cutter and you are going to need a pencil. I have a colored pencil here. These are the, all the items you're going to need. Am I in frame? I'm in frame. Let's get it. These are all the items you're going to need to make your customized box. Alright, so for this video, you're going to use this huge cardboard box and we're going to separate each side of the box. So we're going to end up in the end with four pieces. You'll see what I'm saying right about now. All right, I'm about I'm cutting right now. Using the rotary cutter, and I like to go through. Uh, after I use the rotary rotary cutter, I, use, I like to go through my scissors um, to finish off the job because it's just easier for me to do it that way. We're gonna cut down the middle now. Rotary cutter first, and then scissors to follow. Actually, we only need uh, one or two sides of the box, right? this piece and this piece. So what I'm going to do is just set this piece off, off to the side. I'm just going to set it off, set it off to the side, set it off. That's one of my favorite movies. Next stop is by Boa Sailors and Loan. That's my favorite line from the movie. All right, and now we're going to cut this down the middle. So we have two pieces. And I'm gonna come through with the scissors. Cool. All right, I'm gonna set this part to the side. Save it for later. Now, my glasses are pretty, probably crooked as fuck, but it's all good. Um, so now we're gonna, um, start uh, measuring ha how big and how wide and how long we want to make the box. So my box is going to be uh, 10 and a half by three and a half by eight and a half. I'll explain it to you right now. So I know it's kind of like messy because I messed up a little bit, but whatever. Here we go. Um, so we got uh, 8.5 for the width. We got 3.5 for the height, so this is 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.3, 3.5, 3.5. We got 10.5 for the height, 10.5, I mean for the length, length, sorry, sorry. We got 10.5 for the length, we got 10.5, 10.5, the edges, 10.5, 10.5, and then for the width, we got 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 
this little part and then I'm going to trace it onto the other cardboard piece that we cut out. Or we separate it. Hey, can I get a, give a few shout outs though to like all the people I see killing it online? Uh, I want to give a shout out to Fluffy. Uh, what's, her, what's her real channel name? I just know her as Fluffy. She's so dope. She is a true, true, true hustler. Foolin' with Fluffy, that's her name. I want to give a, a shout out to Foolin' with Fluffy. Uh, I just see her making like boss, boss moves, winning. I want to give a shout out to uh, Thrift, Thrift BCQ. He's dope. He's out there killing it. Um, he comes out with like a video every day it seems like. I want to give a shout out to uh, what Nash Nashville Flippers. They're dope. Flipping for profit. Dope. There's just so many dope creators out there and hustlers and I don't know. They're just and I've learned a lot from them too. Dope, dope, dope. I love seeing dope people do dope shit. Right around town, they gonna kill this one. Alright, this is what we end up with. Looks like a fat cross. A fat cross. So we're going to take this piece right here that we just uh, cut out. We're going to go and grab our large piece that we separated and we're going to lay on top and we're going to trace it. So this is what it looks like after it's traced and what I'm going to do right now is add a little bit more to it. So what I need to add are these like little flaps right here and right here and it's going to be 3.5, 3.5 and then uh, you'll see what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to cut this thing out that I traced um so I added this little these little parts right here uh hopefully you can see it it's not perfect but what I'm going to do is cut around these little flaps and then I'm going to connect the two so right now what I should be doing in preparation for that is warming up my glue gun got the glue gun warming up and now we're going to trace I mean not trace we're going to cut out this part that we just uh, traced. Uh, Alright, cool. So what happened is I made these little flaps. See? Flap, flap, flap. And now I'm going to cut through the first layer of the cardboard so I can bend this, bend it upward. And then uh, and then what I'm going to do when I once I bend it upward is connect it to this like this with the glue gun. Actually, like this. <laughs> like this. It's going to be connected like this with the glue gun. Alright, let me cut through the first layer of cardboard so I can connect the two. And go too deep. Cool. So, got the first layer of the cardboard. So now it bends easily. See? So easily bendable. Alright. Now we're going to take this. We're going to lay it on top. We're going to lay it on top like this. And then we're going to glue this part to this part that part to that part. Alright. Cool. Uh, glue gun should be warm. I'm going to have to go on off camera for this because the glue gun doesn't stretch that far. I'm gonna just... Perfect. Perfect. Got some glue on there. Now we're going to gently. Alright. Cool. Just hold it there for a little bit to make sure that shit stays. See how it's connected now? Connect it, glued it, cool, cool. Oh, uh, now I need to um, actually make a perforated line for like all the edges. Or cut through the first layer of the cardboard for all the edges so I can bend it easily. So it can bend. Alright, so now I got all my pieces cut properly so now what I'm going to do is first I'm going to uh, take this I'm going to take these flaps and I'm going to glue them inside like so I'm going to take these flaps right here and I'm going to glue them inside it's hard to show you on camera but I'm going to glue them inside like so like this like this so 
Yeah. It's gonna look like this. Alright. I'm gonna put glue on this little part and glue it. Alright, and we're gluing the other part. Other part. So look it. It looks like this now. So far this is what our box is looking like. It's coming it's coming along pretty well. I mean like all my edges aren't straight like I intended them to be. But I, like I said before, I was, I'm rushing through this because it's hot. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put glue on each side, glue on this side, and then what I'm going to do once that glue is on there, I'm going to take this opposite side and fold it over the glue part, over the parts with the glue on it. So then, see how our box is coming along? It's dope, right? We're just putting glue across the, along the side. So I have glue. See that glue? And I'm just going to take this and gently press it against. See? And now you hold it, kind of like press down. Make sure that glue is connecting to the other side and you just hold it in place for a little bit. Make sure that shit is dried. The next side, the other side, put glue. I'm going to put some glue on here and then fold it. Simple dimple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, all that jazz. All right, that's enough. So put some more glue, you see that glue? Oh man, it's stringy, whatever. And then you just press it before it dries up. Press it against the other side. You just press it down, make sure that glue is bonded. As my glasses are falling off my face, my glasses are probably gonna be crooked on my face throughout this whole video and I'm going to be sweating and I'm going to look like a hot mess but it's all good because that's not the purpose of the video. My looks aren't the purpose of the video. What's the, the purpose of the video is to show you how to make a customized box. Um, so yeah, look at this box. It's done, right? All you have to do is put whatever you want to put in it, you know, ship it, you know, you want to ship a pencil, ship a rotary cutter, you know, whatever. You got a box and all you do is uh, take the flaps. I guess you didn't even need the tape. I was like, you're going to need tape for this? Nah, not really. Only in the end. You have your shit. And you got a box. You got a customized box. Look at that. It took like two minutes. Two minutes. So uh, next time you're in need of boxes, you can't find any, you don't want to buy any, but you have some cardboard laying around, hey, just take that cardboard, cut it up, do what you got to do, and make your own customized box. And that was how you make a customized box from scratch. Scratch. All right. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of DIY Packaging Style by Candy, and I'll see you next time. Deuces!